Bloons was it done? Bloons has no end. Bloons has no end. All right, let me give me. Oh no, don't don't do that. Let's see. All right, let's do that. Okay. Uh, now I just recently in in my uh, you know solo time, I managed to get all the way down here to the bottom of this, which is huge. I start each map with a free glue gunner or a free dart monkey and 200 extra cash, which gives me a lot more early game options. Um, aside from that, what was the other thing I was going for? Oh, I was going down the, the hero tree. I need like a t one or 2,000 more monkey dollars to continue that though. Uh, what is this? Hey, and there, there's some now. There's some now. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's look at intermediate maps. This one was just like a straight a straight line of most. They just like run through it. I was struggling with that one. Um, <laughs> what looks interesting? Uh, I've lost that one and lost that one. I haven't looked at this one at all. Let's take a look at this one. So they just zigzag and you can destroy the trees. All right, so I have just enough money that I could just flat out start with this guy because uh, of the skill tree thing I got. Ready to fly. And then I can throw down a free glue gun or two. I'm gonna set him for strongest. Now, sometime, like right now, I have to use his special ability. Uh, I've learned with him. Okay, uh, glue hits two targets and glue hits multiple layers. Merchant ship, <laughs> merchant ship spam, let's go. I don't know if we're gonna need that. We could, we possibly could. I need to get a couple of levels on glue gunner before I do oh, that. A new arrival. Welcome to arrival. Hello. Looks like the monkey is only free if placed for the first round starts. No, 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 no. It's you. You get one free monkey, and I can choose either glue or dart. And uh, once I do one, I can't get the other free. So by building the glue guy, I lost the free dart guy. Yeah. All right, corrosive glue level one. So now he will help kill balloons a little bit. Okay, um, I think, yeah, that's max. This is not, I could build a boat. I usually throw a druid down after, uh, after this point, but I can take a request, try this out. Alright, Grape Shot. So he does the fan, which is a massive damage increase, I believe. I wonder how lightweight this game is on CPU. I know once we get to the really later levels, it actually starts, like, getting fuzzy on stream. I don't, I don't really know what to do about it. Okay. If I want to go to Merchant Man, that's the bottom row. Twenty-four hundred for the next thing. These light on CPU is just the amount of garbage on screen stuff on uh, encoders. Yeah, on my end, even at the end game when there's just like bullets blocking the entire screen, there's no lag at all on my system. I've got my finger on the power in case I need it.
<laughs> I'm getting nervous there. So what does he do now? Two is it two hundred around? Oh no, one got through. Boo! Eyes on that exit. Getting at least one vine has done me very, very well in the past, so I'm gonna try to do that. And you can see, look at, see his damage. It just starts like strangling the balloons even before they get onto the screen. And he, he ends up uh, getting a lot. Uh, should I do hot shot? Let's get a glue splatter. Sub bucket chat, I'm watching Lost and Random and so far, uh, two towns my favorite town. <laughs> We are sisters. What was it? It, it? They're like, we finish each other's sentences. And we borrow each other's. The other one's like, husbands. And she's like, what? And they start strangling each other. <laughs> uh, let's see. Do I go for balloon dissolver? I wonder exactly what. Uh, let me see. Balloons hot shot. What does this do exactly? It does one damage per 1.5 seconds for three seconds. Okay, so it does an extra two damage over three. Alright, so at round 40, there's gonna be a big boss. Um. Let's get Balloon Dissolver for that. One, th Another thing I would like... Get him as close up there as possible is Alchemist. And we're going to go with the gold route. This game has drones. It does have drones. So the Alchemist has a thing where he like turns some balloons to gold and then you get a lot of money from them. He has to be able to hit them before they come on, before they die. It multiplies the gold you get for popping. I actually googled this earlier and oh. Okay, I think it uh, it's actually different from that. Um, hang on. Balloons, rubber to gold. So rubber to gold uh, gives plus 200% more cash per pop. But lead to gold, uh, what does it do? It increases the damage you do. It, lead to gold just flat out gives you 50 bucks. Whenever lead to gold procs, it just gives you 50 bucks. But then rubber to gold is 200% more money. I meant to do that one. Oh, I moused over that, but it had that selected. That's fine. I'll, just, I'll use that some other time. So whenever he waves his hand and they like glow golden, that's him increasing the money the only thing i'm sad about is you see how like the, the uh this guy it says like oh he's earned this much money this game it doesn't do that for the alchemist you have no idea how much he's earning you it just does not say 
If you upgrade to Balloon Master Alchemist, be careful because every time it transforms, you don't get the money of the pops between the original balloon and the red balloon. Oh, yeah? Well, in any case, I can't do it this, this round. Mucked it up. Hmm, I think I need to go for Balloon Solver to have more single target damage right now. I want to get the, the Druid maxed out, but I don't think it's the time for that. Yeah, there's two units I've noticed in the game that it doesn't tell you how much money they've earned you. The Alchemist is one of them, and the other is the Pirate Lord. The Pirate Lord uh, says it gives you extra cash for taking down balloons, but it doesn't show it at all. You could spam merchants. I could. Uh, I'd like to get this, though, I think. Monkey Town, Bottom Path also does it. Yeah, yeah, you're right. That's another one that I forgot about. Merchant with one or two Bottom Path farms. Yeah, I've got, I've got one here, and I've got uh, this guy. What is the question? What is it? Uh, let's see. 2400 plus 400 plus 100. I don't know. That's about like 3k. And then he costs like five, so like 3500. You get like 200 a round. So it takes like 17 rounds to pay for itself before it's profitable. Check Trade Empire. I mean, I, I've, I've built all three of these in the past, but yeah, this one increases the amount. Uh, but I'm concerned that if I go for that right now, I'll lose on, you know, I'll lose while I'm working on economy at this point. I'm gonna summon the other drones. I'm getting scared. that balloon. Alright, got the balloon solver. Okay. Bottom pass five card is really good. You know, I, I think that is actually a, a good idea. down bottom path or just part way do that I uh, need some more experience for this thing anyway so that works out Yeah, see, now that I've got the um, this guy, the balloon solver, we're killing the blimps much faster. Favorite trades gets five up around plus one hundred percent longer to nice ten. Citrus says not favorite trades you get seven hundred percent. Uh, favorite. Wait, what? Generates lots of money per round. Favorite trades gets five hundred per round plus one hundred per central market. Central market. What is central market? This thing. Got it, okay. I understand now. See, I wonder if I can now save up for Spirit of the Forest. It's gonna take a while. Maybe I'll do one more boat.
Yeah, I, I wonder if they're going to fix it to where you can see the money you gain. I, I would really like it if they would add that to the game. You have a lot of streets of towers you can use in a while. <laughs> no, I mean, we haven't played, uh, we haven't done that voting on stream thing in a while. I'm still trying to, like, unlock them all. Man, we're setting stuff on fire and putting acid on it and uh, putting the glue, acidic glue on it, like, all at once. Got my finger on the button. Nope, we're okay. Friend locking is a trick you want to know. Uh, I mean, yeah, if it's not like cheating or something, sure, I'll tell you, I'll, I'll hear it out. I'll hear it out. Oh, I just realized this guy is on um, the wrong targeting priority. Fix that. You place a 2 0 glue on a bloom at first, you could stack a 4 0's acid for some reason. Might be bug, might not. What? Glue strike and corrosive glue stack? I mean, corrosive glue on its own after a few rounds is not great. Like, this is one pop per couple of seconds, and this is like 20 pops per quarter second. So, that's very interesting, but I don't think I would use that. Oh wait, hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. I just reread your mess reread your message. Uh, two corrosive glue and balloon liquefier. Okay, okay. I now understand what you were trying to tell me. I misread that. Um, still don't know how well because again, uh, I think balloon solver. Hang on a second. Balloons, balloon solver. All right, balloon solver. Uh, let's see. Four damage per 0 0.1 second against ceramics, and uh, six damage per 0 0.1 seconds versus mobs is what the solver does. And then the... what does corrosive glue do? Um, one damage every two seconds. So that is interesting, I just don't think it's viable. Almost there. There we go. All right. Yeah, this guy's done 77. This guy's done 73. He's done 25 so far. The boats have done just a little bit, but they've earned money. Yeah, now this guy, he's got to start damaging everything when they're not on screen, giving us lives and also a thousand, uh, thousand gold every turn. Glad to see you back on BTD6. Uh, we, I had two games planned for tonight and we beat both of them. So I was like, well, we got an hour to spare. Let's, let's pop some balloons, I guess.
And this poor spike factory, nothing's reached it yet. You beat the liquor and the rest of the Supreme Commander Knight? Mm-hmm. Sure did. Just for... well, no, I'm not gonna do that. That's not gonna be in range. Oh, I uh, wrong button. I did not mean to do that. <laughs> you need to go in deflation mode and just use mostly the same tower and let it go. What is deflation mode? I'm not familiar with that. I, I do not know what that is. I think at this point we'll uh, put it back on normal since these things last like forever and it's there's only one path. Deflation mode unlocks on easy on any map. It's the secondary game mode for easy. You start with a set amount of cash. Uh, can't gain any more. Need to survive until round 60. You have a starting gold and no income other than that. Beat the map. And that's good for, like, getting experience for um, various towers. Let's see if we can get to turn 100. You just drop at the towers and leave them five minutes, come back for XP. You can do it at all game modes, it's just faster since you have the cash immediately. Got it. I did have someone tell me that uh, free mode, which I just entered into, you get less XP. I don't know if that's true or not. 48k for Apache Prime. I think there's a lot of damage though. Free mode is 20% of the original. Hmm. I guess because at that point you're just slaughtering them so much. are slow. In free mode? I don't feel like it's that slow. Like I've got, we've already gone six rounds since uh, since we started. I was just gonna let it go to 100 to get the free monkey and then keep going. Patchy Prime. See, Glue Gunner has done 150k. The, the Spirit of the Forest has shot ahead to 350. The Apache Prime, which has not been out very long, is quickly going toward 100. Trade monkeys, tiny little bit. Etienne just hit level 20, so we've got the permanent airplane now. <laughs> it's now double what it was a second ago.
Dude, Apache Prime damage. It's almost 300k now. Apache Prime damage is insane. Oh, I can finish this. Oh, nice. I've never gone middle row, but uh, okay, cool. I just finished ex XPing the helicopter. BTD community be wild in with an Ember Crunch talk. I think I'll, uh, any tower defense uh, game fans want to know the numbers. Oh, God. That was fine. Everything is fine. Out of curiosity, is there enough room on that island for a house? I don't think so. No. Not really. <laughs> Instant max level. So many flying things. Look, you see the blue missiles? I had just realized that there was trouble, and I hit my power, and it was too late. <laughs> if I had done the power at the beginning of the round, it probably would have been fine. We still won the round. Uh, I'm curious. Let me see. Uh, review map. Okay, so the glue gunner that was alive from the beginning of the game did 300k. Etienne did 260. Alchemist was mostly making money. Druid did 712,000 and then also gave me like two or 300 lives and also generated 31,000 cash. The two trade monkeys combined made 23k. So, you know, less than just him, even though he wasn't until very late game. Um, let's see, he did 700k and the Apache Prime, who had not been in the game long, did 581k. Dude, he does so much damage. So much damage. And this thing wasn't alive long, but uh, this was the pusher. All right. Okay, go back to home. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, you wanted to do a thing, someone wanted to do a thing where they would vote and mess with me. We could try that once and see what happens. Let's figure out how we're going to do this. Because i got to at least get a foothold before we start. Let's try this. Alright, so I'm going to get like a foothold of some sort, and then I'll do the first vote and see what y'all pick. Um, dude, this is, they don't, they just leave immediately, don't they? They do not stay long. We can't even pick the hero? No, the, the vote happens in the game after the hero is picked. <laughs> hey, Julia, I see you if you're here. Just got a message from him on Steam. I've tried this level once before, and I, I failed it at, like, round 50 or something. Okay, so let's try this out. So here, let me see if I can do this correctly. So, create loadout pole. Um... Alright, one, two, five... How do I want to do this? Let's start with a building. Okay. All right. Poll winner. Three. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. 